Hey, Mr. Reynolds, it's, it's uh, a pleasure to meet you. Um, at first, let me tell you, I'm really, really happy about seeing the movie that the character Deadpool and his fans deserve. Um, so thank you for making it happen after all, and thank you for sharing your happiness uh, about the movie in the best social media accounts in the last few months. Yeah, <laughs> um, awesome, thanks. Yeah, it's great to see. Um, so let's start. Deadpool is a movie especially for fans, but could you explain for our viewers why it's a superhero movie like no other and um, why everybody have to see it? Yeah. Well, there's a million reasons why Deadpool Deadpool's different than any other superhero movie. I mean, he, he interacts with the X-Men, he lives in the X-Men universe, except he's completely different in, in as much as he knows he knows he's in a comic book movie. So there's a very kind of meta element. Um, Deadpool is uh, rated R in the United States. I don't know exactly what it is here, but, but uh, you know, it's there's extreme uh, action, and then there's also extreme comedy. And we felt in order to make the Deadpool movie properly, we had to have no limitations. So that meant having a rated R film, which was which was great. But um, and the backstory on Deadpool is he's a he's a mercenary. He's a guy who's uh, uh, named Wade Wilson, and he's a kind of like a hitman or like a killer for hire that kind of guy. He gets cancer. Uh, he thinks he's going to die, and he's sent into the same program that they turned Wolverine into this creature that he is. So he has the same regenerative healing powers as Wolverine, except he's known as the Merc with the mouth. He's the most mouthy, lippy superhero ever to be on the big screen, so. Mr. Wilson, bei Ihnen wurde Krebs im Endstadium festgestellt. Wir schaffen das. Was wäre, wenn wir Sie heilen und Ihnen Fähigkeiten verleihen würden, von denen die meisten Menschen nur träumen können? Dann würde ich sagen, klingt nach Dauerwerbesendung, aber na ganz miesen, nicht küchenhobelmäßig, mehr Dressing-Shaker. Have you been a big comic fan as a child? And if so, which comics did you like the most? And what was your first point of contact with Deadpool? Uh, I wasn't a big comic book fan as a kid, you know? Um, I grew up in Canada where I just don't think it was that big uh, where I grew up. It was my friend, none of my friends really read comic books and it wasn't, it wasn't a huge thing. But my first point of contact with Deadpool was in 2005. Uh, somebody said, hey, you're Deadpool. And I said, what do you mean? And I don't know what Deadpool is. He said, no, if they ever make a Deadpool movie, you're Deadpool. And I said, uh, great, what's Deadpool? And he sent me all the comics. I started reading the comics. And actually, in the first comic I read, Deadpool mentions me by name. He mentions Ryan Reynolds. And I was like, that's crazy. Uh, and then I just fell in love with it. Then for 11 years, I've been trying to get this made until now. We finally, this last year, they, they let us make it. And they let us make it the way it had to be made. So excited. Um, what was the coolest thing on bringing one of the most celebrated comic characters uh, to the cinema? Well, I think, like, probably apart from Iron Man, I haven't heard of a comic book character that's had a, such a great selling comic book that hadn't been turned into a comic book movie yet. So it was exciting to bring it, bring it to, to life in that way. But um, I think the thing that really made us the most happy is that, is that we got to do it the right way. Um, Deadpool appears briefly in X-Men Origins Wolverine, And that's the Deadpool that is done in the wrong way. So that was that was one of the biggest things I was I was concerned about when I was making this movie that I needed I needed this to be done uh, properly and I needed to protect Deadpool and make sure that the thing that gets on the screen is the one that uh, millions of Deadpool fans love and adore. And that's what we got to do. And on the other side, after all, how difficult was it uh, to get the creative freedom from the studio and to make it in rated R? Well, actually, that's a good question. You know, the the. Um, The freedom we had was unusual for a movie like this. Usually they kind of are managing you very carefully. Um, we had test footage that we made many, many years ago that never went anywhere. The studio didn't do anything with it. Uh, that test footage uh, about a year and a half ago accidentally leaked onto the internet. And because of this accidental leak onto the internet, uh, it caused a huge uproar. I mean, people wrote the studio, people begged the studio, called the studio, social media, everything begging for them to make a Deadpool movie. Uh, so, for whatever reason, the next day after that leaked, the, the studio called us and said, you can make your movie. And we said, how can we make our movie? And they said, any way you want. Just make the movie fast. So we started that next day. That's cool. Um, there are amazing commercials about the movie all over the world, um, like the Skull Poop L. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that started as a text message that I sent <laughs> the studio. I really was just a text message, and nobody understood. They were like, what is the Skull Poop? I was like, Deadpool. And they were like, Oh, oh yeah, and then that ended up on a billboard, yeah. So you are responsible for all of this? <laughs> yeah, just goofing around. I, yeah, not all of it, but that certainly that one, yeah. It was, uh... Okay, cool. Um, what I liked in this version of Deadpool was that there are some emotional moments, in spite of all the yeah. humor. Um, is that character depth uh, result of Deadpool, or of the Deadpool we saw in the Wolverine movie? 
Um, the Deadpool in the Wolverine movie has almost nothing to do with the Deadpool in this movie, except that the Deadpool in this movie makes fun of the Deadpool in the Wolverine movie. Um, so, no, there's very little to do with that. But you do have to have some emotional anchors in the film in order to make the whole movie work. I think, you know, we, we, we made sure that you get to see how, why Wade Wilson sort of filters his pain through the prism of humor. You know, he makes, he turns his pain into humor, and that's, that's something that is important to understand about the character going forward. Ich wollte nicht super sein. Und ich bin kein Held. Aber wenn du mitkriegst, dass dein schlimmster Feind hinter deinem Mädchen her ist, ist es höchste Zeit, ein scheiß Superheld zu sein. Musik ab! How many scenes have been cutted because of the violence and the vulgarity? Um, we kept all every, we, again, we, we were allowed to do anything we wanted, so we, we kept everything we wanted. Uh, we cut some stuff because we felt we pushed it too far. So there's a few scenes that are on the cutting room floor that I think are amazing, that I hope we get to release at some point, maybe on the DVD extras or something like that, but they definitely um, will probably upset many people. <laughs> okay, cool. So thank you very much. It was an honor. Enjoy uh, the, the love you will get from the fans thank you. when thank the film you. comes out, I'm thank sure. They will love it, and uh, I'm really happy about the movie. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank, thank you, you very much.